Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video because I'm going to be doing the Samantha March Made Me Buy It. Not really tag, but it's basically a YouTube Made Me Buy It, but Samantha March Made Me Buy It. If for some reason you guys have not heard of Samantha March, I will leave her channel link down below, but she is by far one of my favorite YouTubers. She is so consistent with her posting. She's from Iowa, so I feel like this Midwestern connection to her being from Minnesota. And she's just super down to earth, super chill, very positive, and I just vibe super well with her channel. And she's definitely influenced quite a few of my purchasing decisions over the years. I think I've been watching Samantha for over two years now. And we also have very different, like, makeup preferences as well as like our skin type is the same so she really does influence quite a few of my beauty purchases so i thought it would be fun i recently did a youtube made me buy it video i thought it would be fun just to do a little bit of a twist on it and talk to you guys about some of the products that i have purchased based based on samantha's recommendation if you guys yourselves have purchased anything based on samantha's recommendation definitely let me know what you picked up based on her recommendation down below i would love to hear your guys's purchases because of samantha i think that would be super fun to talk about in the comments so if you're interested in hearing a little bit more about what i purchased due to samantha then stay tuned but first if you haven't already subscribed to my channel i hope you consider doing so before you go i post videos every single monday tuesday thursday and friday and without further ado let's get into it all right guys so i'm doing that awkward thing where i'm wearing like a tube top and i'm already sitting so far away from my camera that i'm like worried my autofocus is going to be weird so if for some reason this goes out of frame during the video let it be known that I am indeed wearing a shirt. That being said, I'm going to scoot a little bit closer because I feel super far away. I have quite a few makeup products to talk to you guys about today. And to be honest with you, about half my makeup collection probably has somehow, some way, been influenced by Samantha. I do this thing where I'll put something on my loves list based on, you know, seeing it on trend mood or like seeing someone else's recommendation of a product. And I'll wait and wait and wait. And then if I hear Samantha recommend that product, it's like I almost like need her like stamp of approval for me to purchase uh that's happened to me quite a bit let's start with a couple of skincare items there's honestly even more skincare in my collection that i could have talked about but again i didn't want this video to be an hour long uh but the ura henriksen truth sea rush brightening gel creme as well as the banana bright eye creme i ended up purchasing a set of these based on samantha's recommendation and then I went on to purchase both of them in a full size. I ended up really, really loving them, especially for the summertime. Uh, they smell super citrusy and fresh. And the moisturizer in particular is light enough that I can go in with makeup or it's not too heavy for like the summertime, you know. Um, I usually use this in the morning. Uh, but it's also hydrating enough for my dry skin. So really love this combo and definitely purchased based on Samantha. I've got two primers to talk about. The first is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, and this was one that had been on my list for a while, and Samantha kept talking about this, and so finally I decided, yep, I need it, and this has quickly become one of my favorite primers in my collection. It is such a nice moisturizing primer. It's just so good. I love this primer, so thank you, Samantha. And then actually, there had been a number of times that I almost picked up the NYX Honey Do Me Up just like on a whim at the at Ulta. And then Samantha had talked about this in one of her videos. And it wasn't, I don't think it was necessarily like a favorite of hers, but she did end up liking it. So naturally, I went out and purchased it. There have been times where I've been watching Samantha's videos. Like sometimes there'll be times I'm driving in the car with my husband and like I'll be watching her videos. And I'll be like, okay, like before we go home tonight, we have to go to the mall because I need to pick up these few items. Like I'm, that's not even a lie. Or like I'll be watching her video at home and I'll be like, oh shoot, I need that immediately. And I will be like, okay, honey, um, I'm going grocery shopping. And then I'll have to go pick up whatever it was that Samantha was talking about. That's happened a couple of times too. I'm not like super, super proud to admit that, but that's true. For the foundation category, I wanted to kick it back to like one of her like OG recommendations from like my time with her, time watching her. This is the number seven Lift and Luminate foundation. And she was talking about this, I think like two summers ago as like she really, really liked it. It was either this or the number seven Stay Perfect. I also have the Stay Perfect. I can't remember which one, but I both, I purchased both based on her talking about number seven. So I thought I would mention it. This isn't a favorite so much anymore. Okay, I had to pause briefly to attend to my daughter. It's pure chaos in my house right now. If you're hearing background noise, 
it's the sink um as i was saying number seven was a favorite of mine for quite some time i don't even know if you can get number seven foundation anymore i don't know if they make it i feel like they've discontinued discontinued quite a few of their products this was really good um probably wouldn't repurchase it if i was able to but like i said i did love this at one time and definitely influenced by samantha's recommendation let's talk about a couple of bronzers another one from number seven and this is another og samantha used to talk about this all the time on her channel this is in the shade golden sand i don't remember if this is the shade specifically that she had but this is the shade that works best for me i do believe you can still get the number seven bronzers and i really like this bronzer this one would probably be a little bit too light for me right now that i am self tanned um oh my gosh it's so weird when you can't see my shirt i feel um but this is a beautiful beautiful bronzer i really like this as just like a light wash of color more in like the winter time i actually pull for this quite often in the winter it's a beautiful bronzer i think they're 12.99 i definitely think they're worth it and thank you samantha for recommending this okay this is this next product is one of those products that had been on my loves list for forever and then samantha bought it she really liked it and i felt like i had to have it this is the milk bronzing stick in baked now i don't know if this video will be going up before or after my makeup rehab update for june but if this goes up before then then you may not know that i purchased this this i've been tempted by literally all year and i finally purchased this samantha had ended up samantha hasn't even recently talked about this but i believe it was like march ish of this year that she ended up purchasing this for herself and basically since then i knew i was going to get this it was just a matter of time perfect time in the summer when i'm using cream products more often i really really have been enjoying this so far so really glad that i ended up picking that up and then i do have a third bronzer to mention this is another one that has been on my loves list for most of the year samantha had talked about how she liked the wash of color that this gave to the skin because it gave a glow to the skin so instantly i knew i had to get it this is the luminous bronze light bronzer from hourglass now i don't know again if this is the specific bronzer shade she was talking about but i think she was just talking about hourglass bronzer in general so glad that i picked this up i picked this up during the vib sale the most recent one beautiful for the summertime so glad to have this in my collection i wish i hadn't had wait i wish i had not had waited as long to purchase this but at least i have it now at least i have it now okay let's oh i forgot to mention there is one concealer again you guys probably don't know about this one yet if this goes up after my june makeup rehab i mean before um but this is the jouet essential high coverage liquid concealer samantha has been raving about this concealer pretty much all year on her channel so i knew i wanted to pick this up i really like the texture of this this is super liquidy um but it's not moussey but it almost has a moussey sort of vibe or feel to me which i prefer it does get offer very very high coverage i think this has hyaluronic acid in it yes it does um and it's a soft matte finish which i do like soft matte finishes for concealer i think it's a beautiful finish this is again super full coverage but it feels super hydrating underneath the eyes which i personally enjoy because i can tend to look super crepey and dry underneath my eyes so another great recommendation thank you thank you samantha okay i have a highlighter to mention and it's not the natasha denona super glow because i've yet to purchase that but i still do want to buy that based on samantha's love for it um but it is oprah pillow talk this is i think her second or third favorite highlighter in her collection she always talks about this highlight it's so blinding um it's a really beautiful pinky highlight from ofra now i don't always go for the super super intense blinding highlights but if i do want that i can get that from this i do love a good pink tone highlight as well so this was another good buy and then i purchased this last summer based on samantha's recommendation this is the mac hyper real glow palette and what i love about this palette is uh, obviously it offers three highlight shades so you're left with a variety of options and this highlight finish gives sort of that like wet sort of feel to the skin where it doesn't it looks like it like sinks into your skin it looks like almost like natural but still super blinding but it looks like your skin is just like wet it's so beautiful i'm really glad to pick this up i wasn't like vibing with mac for the longest time but then i decided to pick this up and i'm really glad that it is i have one face palette to mention this is my most favorite face palette in my collection so thank you thank you so much samantha for recommending this this is the smashbox kelly contour 
palette. I am obsessed with this. The contour shade is so beautiful. It's like the perfect contour shade in my collection or that I've ever tried. It makes me actually want to contour at times. Sometimes I don't because I feel like I just look ridiculous. The bronzer shade is beautiful. The blush is so, so beautiful. The under eye setting powder isn't too, too dry. It's not like my favorite under eye setting powder, but if I was traveling, I could definitely get away with it. The highlighters are okay. Definitely not my favorite, but again, if I was traveling and I just had this palette, like I would be satisfied. I wouldn't even be mad. I love this. I'm so glad I picked this up. Thank you again. Thank you, Samantha. Um, one palette in my collection that I thought of when I thought of things that I've purchased based on Samantha's recommendation was the Dose of Colors Frenkation palette. What I love about Samantha is she doesn't go out and purchase like all these like luxury products. She is super conscientious of the price of items and this was $55. So I knew when she purchased this like she meant business. I can't remember if she got it on sale or not but i knew that she had ended up purchasing this so i was really interested to see what she had to say about it and she did really enjoy this palette really liked it i did end up buying mine on sale i don't know if i would have paid the 55 dollars for it but i still don't know if i would have purchased it on sale had i not heard samantha recommend it so glad i purchased this one i the matte shades in this the matte formula in this is phenomenal and one amazing thing about this palette is you can layer the shimmers to create even more colors and shades so you're really actually left with so many options in this palette it's a really amazing palette i don't know if i would pay 55 dollars for it but if it's ever on sale during the ulta 21 days of beauty again would definitely recommend for the half off price and then the last three products i have to talk about are nude lipsticks which if you guys know samantha you know she is a nude lipstick junkie so i actually heard samantha talk about this in her video yesterday i had completely forgot about this lipstick but then she mentioned it in her like 23 nude lipstick video i can't remember what she called it specifically um so this is from urban decay this is in stark naked and i definitely purchased this off her recommendation now i don't know that this shade is the best for me especially when i'm there this might work better when i am tan but definitely pick this up off her recommendation i like the formula again it's just a shade thing for me the lawless liquid lipsticks i definitely purchased these off samantha's recommendation and i definitely want to pick up more of these but they're just so expensive 25 dollars for a liquid lipstick but i love the formula it's super hydrating it's a little bit moussey i love the texture i love the entire shade range offered from lawless this one specifically is in the shade leo love this for the summertime i think it is beautiful one of my favorite lip recommendations from samantha and then finally the persona liquid lipsticks samantha also raves about on her channel this one specifically is in og which is another just beautiful brown and nude shade really happy that i picked this up and really happy pretty much that I picked up everything that Samantha has recommended. The only thing that sticks out in my mind that I picked up based on her recommendation that I personally didn't love is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. Samantha always talks about that being one of her favorites from the drugstore, but for me and my skin personally, it's just a little bit too luminous for me. I just have never been able to get it to work. But other than that, I mean pretty much everything Samantha recommends that I buy, I love. So thank you so much for all of your great recommendations, Samantha. Bye. But after that, that is going to conclude today's video. Thanks so much for sticking around to watch you guys. Again, leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite YouTubers are to take recommendations from. I would love to hear that as well. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.